Let's continue uh, with part three, where uh, in part one and two I covered a lot of other details about the keel and so on. But in this case now I want to concentrate on the whale boat. First of all, uh, let me show you how I finished the sanding on the inside of the whale boat with this uh, modified uh, toothbrush. I took the uh, bristle part off, made some uh, little adapters out of wood, covered it with sandpaper. That worked quite well to finish it the inside, uh, a reasonably smooth finish. Jumping ahead a little bit, let me point out that the uh, uh, rail uh, is made out of uh, essentially six pieces. And I positioned the joint right where the oar locks come together so that the seam would be covered at the oar lock. I found some cherry that had a nice curvature to the grain and that is what I will be using for the top because it was easy to follow the grain and uh, not have it split too easily. The, uh, the long side pieces were also made, as you can see, the grain right there runs very nicely with a slight curvature that I needed. So this worked out very well. Here I show you the variety of wood that I considered using. The cherry is off to the left, there's some mahogany, and then I decided to use a dark walnut for the bottom of the boat. These are the strips. But again, I'm jumping ahead, so let me come back and show you how I made the frames for the hull. I used some uh, 40 mil by 40 mil square pieces of styrene, wrapped them around a piece of wood to give them some shape, and heated them with a hairdryer so that when that cooled off, uh, it maintained at least some shape that I could work with. Part of me for shaking a bit right here. I'm camera shy as always. But when I cut these pieces then off this loop, uh, they were close to what I needed to fit inside the hull. I used uh, some CA glue for uh, putting them in position. And uh, after that was uh, done, I actually then used this little piece of dowel to press the frames into position with the glue not quite set yet and then after that was done I trimmed off the excess right flush with the uh, the top of the rail. Here you can see the uh, all the frames in position and also the keelsome and riser that uh, the riser will be supporting the uh, seats for example. After that was done I painted the bottom part uh, with a gray. That's what the plan called for and I thought that was a reasonable color to use for the bottom. Whereas above the riser it will be uh, white. White. I tried to uh, brush off the uh, little streaks as best that I could but at least you can get the idea of what it would look like underneath. There's also at the bow and the stern a small piece that's referred to as a knee and I made that out of some flat pieces of styrene. Drilled a small hole and then finished cutting the pieces. Here you can see how I installed the one uh, to the left and tried to do the same with the one on the front. I used some epoxy for that. The, uh, the bottom of the slats uh, on the, uh, the bottom of the hull, I used the black part, dark uh, walnut for that. Then in addition, there were some little footpaths where uh, the, the oar man would uh, put his feet. So I put that in with some epoxy as well. We'll continue next time with part four.